Hi, and welcome to the TechEd session on how to accelerate your transformation with business process intelligence, in short, EPI. My name is Ruben Morato, and I'm the general manager for business process intelligence at SAP. And I'm glad to have Stefan Zuppel with me today from GFJ Alliance, who will talk later about their experience with business process intelligence. Now let's jump right into it. We have two major themes that we are pursuing. The one is on the left, time to insight. The other is time to adapt. Now, time to insight um, is about having the finger at the pulse of how you run your business and understanding how well it's running at any point in time. And that has actually two components. One is your internal operations, how your business process execution works, how your employees are executing the business processes within the system landscape they are working in. Are they efficient? Is it working well or not so well, right? Are they automated or not? And so on. The second component where you can learn a lot about the state of the nation of your company is about listening to your customers. You learn a lot about your process execution and your process excellence if you understand how customers perceive the service that they get because they interact with your business processes all the time. So bringing those two components together, that is what we do for you to always understand what's going on in my business and where do I need to become more agile, more efficient, more automated in my operations. That's the time to insight, having the finger at the pulse of your business. Out of that, we then derive recommendations because we know how the best practices are. We have so many customers who are executing business policies, so we know how good looks like and we want to help you to become better there. And then obviously also execute upon the improvement, which is then on the right side, time to adapt, right? We as SAP, we are running many of your underlying core applications, be it ERP or on the purchasing side or business network. So we can help you to implement the changes very fast. We also have technology components of, on our business technology platform, like robotics process automation, workflow, low-code, no-code extensions, um, to kind of automate your business processes. So we want to help you with kind of that continuous cycle of continuously listening, having the finger at the pulse of your company and enabling you to continuously adapt. And if you do this continuously, that's what an intelligent enterprise is all about. It's like an organism continuously learning and adapting to the requirements of the environment, in this case of your end customers. Right? That is our vision for BPI. Now, taking it one level deeper, what does it mean? So at the end of the day, it's for us important to help you end to end in the process transformation. It's not only about mining, it's really about establishing process excellence as a discipline and providing you the respective tool set to do so. For us, this all starts with enabling you on having a platform, so to say, and home base on where you can model, manage, govern and collaborate on processes. Having that place where people are coming together to drive process transformation, that's the very first starting point. And then you start obviously in a data-driven way to analyze and understand the processes and where maybe you're not so good at the moment with benchmarking to your peers and really drilling deep into the different areas where also obviously our process mining capabilities come into play. You then want to envision the future. You want to change. You need to adapt. So we provide you with the capabilities of looking at best practices and then designing your new process on top of that and simulate and understand what does it do to my processes. The next step is then the execution of the improvement. So that could be manifold, as I already mentioned, the time to adapt. You could change your application. You could introduce a new bot or you could just change the way the process is running. So these are the components where we also help you to bring things nicely together. It's then about the rollout, and that's where the beauty of Signavio with a very people-centric collaborative approach comes into play. And you will hear later Stefan talk about that because that's one of the key differentiators because the rollout is critical for the value realization. It doesn't help if you roll something out and never, nobody adopts it. It's very important that people understand the change and can really live by that. And then it's about the monitoring, really looking how did the change really, you know, is it accepted or not? Did it have the impact or not that you were foreseeing? So that's our end-to-end -end story around that and really driving process transformation um, as a discipline. Now, our overall portfolio consists of the components that came in with the acquisition of Signavio, state-of-the-art and market-leading process management capabilities, journey modeling, bringing together the journey of your customer, of your employees with the operations, with the process behind that, process governance, making sure everything is solid, 
and process intelligence with the mining component and all that coming together in the collaboration hub. From the SAP side, we added the organic component of SAP Process Insights, giving you immediate and constant insights into your ERP system without having to mine it really, just connect it and the data flow through it and, and delivers you all the great insights and recommendations that you need. And finally, we have the business automation platform, so the SAP Process Automation Platform running on the BTP, providing RPA, low-code and no-code and workflow. And all of this is, of course, now coming together into one holistic process transformation suite. This is our vision and our product portfolio. Now, instead of listening to me about, you know, our theoretical parts, let's rather now listen to somebody who has really done this, right, who really went into process transformation. So I'm super happy to have Stefan with us. Stefan, why don't you introduce yourself and GFG Alliance for a second so that people know kind of where you're coming from? Thank you very much, Robin. So my name is Stefan Stuppen. I'm the co-head IT of Infobuild. Uh, which is part of the GFG Alliance Group. We are a global operating mining and metals business and operating coal and iron ore mines. Uh, we are producing steel, of all sorts of steel products, manganese, aluminium. We operate recycling sites and have a large distribution footprint in Australia. Globally, we are operating with 35,000 employees across Europe, the US, Australia and India. Stefan, that sounds like heavy lifting, right? You're doing production all over the world in, in, in heavy stuff, right? So there, I think processes are absolutely crucial, you know, to be efficient and, and, and also safe, right? So can you talk a bit about the, the challenges and, and the reason why you went into process transformation and how you leveraged BPI and Signavio throughout that journey? Okay, in 2019, we started in Australia, a significant S4 transformation program with the aim to implement standardized and harmonized business processes across eight different businesses with different legacy ERP systems. With the help of our implementation partner, we have embarked on a mission to deploy standard SAP business processes with minimal deviation. Signavio Process Manager was instrumental in documenting the process flows and starting the conversations with the business Tell me why this process is not working for you, instead of tell me how you are executing the process. The vast majority of workshops were held in the collaboration hub as the main tool to showcase and discuss the process. The participants in the room have never experienced this in the past, and sometimes they were overwhelmed with the approach of business process visualization when we brought them back onto the business process instead of losing ourselves then in the detail of the ASIS process. Before we went live with the first business, we then started to implement Signavio process intelligence for the P2P process to identify where the real life process execution in S4HANA is deviating from the configured, tested and trained process flows. I, I love this, Stefan, I must admit, because it really so nicely illustrates that that end-to-end -end vision that we also have, right, from the modeling and also then what you talked about, the collaboration that people have never experienced the way of collaborating on process. That's what we hear a lot from customers, but I also think that's what it needs, right, to really improve processes. You need all the knowledge, the wisdom of the crowd to really improve there. And then obviously you added PI kind of at the end to then bring the data flow in and understand really the, the, the real life data. So, so great story around that. So can you share a bit about what was the impact of that transformation? So which benefits did you see coming out of this? Yeah, so with, with Signavio PI, we had now near real-time information after the go-live on how the business is executing their P2P processes. So we have found very easily where the business process training was not taken up successfully, okay, where departments need to be retrained. We have identified Merrick buying events with the business, which we clearly had a policy against, okay? We have driving towards uh, no PO, no pay strategy. And now straight away, we see where we receive invoices before we have created the purchase order. And that, of course, is uh, creating a heavy impact on our uh, on better control and on our cash flow position. We have also better visibility on the usage of payment terms now in purchase orders and can now start to go back to our suppliers to renegotiate these payment terms. We have seen now instances of double, triple handling of invoices 
uh, where our shared service provider in, on offshore is actually handling that in an inefficient way. So we have never seen that before. We can now go back to our sh uh, shared service provider and tell them um, we need to improve our SLAs. And this is based on our data in our system and not based on any information which the uh, service provider is actually providing. It's fact-based discussions which we now can have. Yeah, amazing. And, and tangible outcomes, really, right? This is money kind of in, in your pockets. And I think the audience also now understands what we meant with, you know, uh, the finger at the pulse, right? Always being able to understand what's going on and then being able to take the respective action or even adjust uh, uh, processes accordingly. So so thanks thanks for, for sharing. Obviously, you know, in every story, there is something that you might have done differently if you look back. So so maybe you want to share what is what is it that you would have done differently and maybe also uh, what have what would have made life easier for you um, with regards to BPI? What kind of wish would you have? What what we could offer for making it even even better for the experience? Mm -hmm. Well, hindsight is always 20, 20 isn't it? And uh, I would have done a couple of things different in the past. Uh, first of all, I would have implemented PI already on the legacy ERP environment uh, to analyze the current process execution. Okay? This would have saved me lengthy discussions with the business reps actually on why everything was better in the past on the legacy system instead now on, on S4. But what I uh, also would have wished for from a BPI uh, perspective is that we would have received pre-configured process accelerators. Okay, we started with P2P nearly and, and had to, to develop the, the extraction programs on our own and then the analysis then as well. So if the BPI toolset could provide container and accelerators actually to, to, to deploy, that would be immensely helpful. Great. So, Simon, first of all, thanks for sharing the story. It was really impressive, and, and, and thanks for sharing with the audience. And I have one good news for you. We listened. We listened to you and also to other customers because that, that feedback was consistent. And actually, I also want to share, uh, we are at TechEd here. People love roadmaps, so you get a high-level view on, on what we have planned for next year, right? And, and the, the point you mentioned is on there, of course. Um, so specifically, obviously, for S4HANA and the ERP side, we will provide native logs so that things get much easier with regards to analyzing the data. So native process analysis capabilities will be added. And also customer journey is an important topic for us going forward. Another component is best practices, right? We see so many processes running through our systems so we can provide pre-populated best practices within Signavio so that people can, when they think about the future, use this as a reference compared with their current process process and take it from there um, kind of to the to the next level. We will bring things together with our automation suite much more closely in the next uh, time. Um, and then obviously also downstream, a lot of customers have asked us to look into how can you help us with then the implementation, the deployment of the changes, right? And as we own a lot of the underlying applications, we are working closely with our friends from Solution Manager and Cloud Application Lifecycle Management to tie things together so that you model in Signavio and then it's a very easy kind of, you know, right mouse click, you want to transfer into Solution Manager, yes, and then things get deployed. It won't be that easy, but we're going to make huge progress there as well. Um, so a lot will happen. We will also go on the technology side for multi-cloud enablement via our business technology platform runtime. So also there, we will be kind of, will offer much more options for you. Um, so stay tuned. It will be exciting 2022 ahead. Stefan, thanks again for sharing your great story. Really appreciate it. Uh, love the details and uh, really great to see GFG Alliance really progressing and we will obviously uh, push and help in the future to make it even better for you and all our customers. Thanks everybody for listening for an, into our session and then talk to you soon. Bye-bye.